you know, normally you might get possession, 11 possessions a game or something like this. When you we play the service academy, I mean, your possessions, you might get eight, you know. So um, you got to figure things out quicker, you know. And like I said, we got to find a way to move the ball. But they, they do a good job. You know, they do a good job of you know, last – uh, actually, I thought the, the year, two years before that, we actually moved the ball really good against, you know, we rushed, I don't know much, how many yards, but at FedEx, we moved the ball decently. Last year, I thought they did a good job. Uh, but, you know, our thing is, they're going to be a high-pressure team on defense, which we know that. They're going to be up in the box. But we also feel like every year we've hit some passes on them, too. Right. And so... Well, they're kind of daring you. Right? So, that, you know, and, and I, but that's kind of his mantra. That's what they do. Mm-hmm. And so that's... Um, you know they're going to pressure you and zip and zap, and do different things and lock up on the on the on the, on the edges. Um, and so maybe some of the runs that we may not have gotten before, we don't get because they're up in the box. But we feel like every year that we've played them, we've also hit some big passes against them too. He's not a freshman, and he's not a sophomore quarterback. I mean, he's way beyond his years as a football player. I've never been around anybody as mentally tough, as cerebrally sharp as, as Keenan Reynolds. I mean, he's just he's able to make in-game adjustments, make decisions. Um, I mean, he, he's a... He's a smart, smart football player. And I've just been amazed just how quickly he's picked up some things. He's thrived in, in clutch situations. Uh, obviously, last year was a tough game, and he made some huge throws in, in clutch situations. So mentally, he's as good as I've been around. Um, probably the Air Force game. I mean, we we stuck him in a pretty tough situation, being down by eight on the road in the fourth quarter with, I don't know, eight minutes or so left, and he led us back to a victory. It just made you realize that this kid was special, that he went into the toughest situation and thrived. You know what I mean? He didn't, um, you know, he didn't back down from it. Uh, he didn't sh- shriver up. I mean, he just thrived in that situation. It made you realize, well, wow, this guy's got something, some intangibles that you can't measure. I mean, that's you can't get that kind of thing by you know testing a guy's vertical or forty. You know, that just happens. You got to be in that type of situation to see how a guy re- respond. And he came through with flying colors. You had a very good quarterback, Ricky Dobbs, here with us two years ago. Um, how does uh, Ricky Dobbs game compare to Keenan Reynolds? Um. Similar, um, Ricky was probably a more of a powerful runner. Uh, Keenan is a little bit more slithery, and he kind of slides through cracks. Where Ricky was almost like a fullback, you know what I mean? It just he, he was a tough guy to bring down. Uh, as far as arm strength, uh, Ricky's probably had a stronger arm um, and could throw the ball, you know, quickly and had a quick release. Keenan is probably a little bit more accurate in throwing the ball. Um, Different types of leader. Uh, Ricky led by, he was more of a raw, raw type, a lovable person that the team embraced. Where Keenan is business like. You know, he's almost, it just, guys recognized, and he, there's a confidence that he exudes, a quiet confidence that he exudes that when he's on the field, guys know that they better pick their game up or he's not going to be happy. Not doesn't have to yell at people, but he just recognizes that. He raises the standard for everybody. Coach, you've had some uh, remarkable days going at Indiana early in the season, winning the Air Force game and the latest game at San Jose at the overtime and a win. What were some of the high points where this team really started to come together? Well, you, you mentioned some of those. I thought those were some good wins. I thought the Pitt game was a huge game for us. Um, I thought Notre Dame for our team. You know what I mean? Just going toe-to-toe with Notre Dame. Had an opportunity at the end to win. Um, you know, we played the last two years, we played those guys, they <laughs> blew us out of the, the ballpark. 
So to be able to go to South Bend this year to play like we did, I think it gave our team great confidence. Coach, you were talking earlier about uh, kind of uh, the mental preparation for a game like this. Uh, so many distractions, so much input from the outside. Uh, how do you prepare your team uh, just to deal with all of the things that go with the Army-Navy game? Well, our, our big thing, we just talk about our preparation. That's all we talk about. We don't talk about anything else. We try to keep the game simple. You know, when you got three weeks, the normal tendencies in bowl games and different things are guys to, you know, start trying to over-scheme and do different things. Ultimately, it's the players that play. And so we just got to try to make sure we keep the game simple. Guys are going to be nervous and try to keep, you know, their nerves down to minimum by just making sure they know their assignments and just recognize that the game's going to be won on the field, not anywhere else. So get ready for the game itself. Thank you, Coach. much more than a uh, football game. Talk about the importance of this uh, in terms of uh, what it means in terms of making it special. Well, I think it's special for our country because it represents, like you said, more than a football game. Um, I think any all Americans uh, is, have either served or nobody knows somebody that's serving in the armed services or as a friend or neighbor or relative. So I think that's why this game is so special because it touches all of us. All people recognize because of these young men and young women, they protect us and keep us safe and allow us to live the lives that we do. So you know, all of us have a sense of duty and loyalty to these people, these young men and young women that serve our country. So I think that's what makes this game special because it's not about anything else. It's just about the pure competition of two schools that serve and protect our country.